Hey there team, my name's Barry Watson and I love tenting. In fact, a few people have said I'm quite an intense guy. And I want to welcome you to the series which I've started called Wild Camping. What I've been able to do over the last few years is go on a whole range of tenting trips. Some of the wild camps I've been on have been very, very mild. No wild at all in them. At the other end of the spectrum, I've been in blizzards and snowstorms in the middle of winter. So what I want to do is gather all the experience that I've gleaned from being out in the field and also from learning from other people who knew a lot more than I did and being able to gather that together. So whether your appetite is to literally go camping by a lake and drive there and enjoy the nice summer's day or whether you like to be a hardcore hiker and do more alpine stuff in the middle of mountains in the middle of winter, I want to be able to help you. I want to help you in two ways. Firstly, I want to help you to be safe out there because that's really important and return in one piece. And secondly, to have a ton of fun. So if you're ready, let's go. Why, when there's so many great huts around New Zealand, Europe, and various places on the trail as you hike and as you tramp, why would you bring a tent? Why would you fill up your pack with something that's weighty, something that's rather big and bulky? Why not just stay in something like this that's got a lovely fire that'll keep you warm and you don't have to lug around anything heavy? Well, I can think of five key reasons why people love to tent. The first one is, well right now, this is obviously very quiet. But as more and more people come in, it's gonna get a lot noisier. And that's fine, because it's good to meet people, different people, and share a common passion of hiking and tramping. But at the same time, you know, at some point, you're gonna to go to bed. And at some point, you know, I don't know about you, but I am a early to bed type person. And I know that some people like to burn the midnight oil, and I like to get to sleep. So that's challenging when you're trying to get to sleep. And at the other end of the spectrum, there's always people that have to get up early and they bang around and make a lot of noise. And of course, what about in the middle of the night? What about those unsightly noises? The second reason I like to tent is because of crowds. Not because of crowds, because I like to get away from the crowds. Sometimes you go to a hut, maybe it's the middle of summer, that's when they get obviously really, really busy, you've got a lot of families coming up, and especially if it's accessible from the road and not too challenging to get to, you get a lot of people coming there, and that's fine. Although sometimes, um, you know, I've had to sleep on the floor or under a kitchen bench in one situation. The other one is connection. I really feel that when I'm out tenting, I have a greater connection to the people I'm with and to the environment I'm surrounded by when I tent because I can get close to a river, I can get close to a lake, I can get close to a mountain tarn, or I can get on a ridge or, or position my tent in a place that gets phenomenal views. And I just feel I just closer to, to nature and creation a lot more by being in a tent than being a loof somewhere and a man-made type structure. The other reason I like to take a tent is because of safety. Now, what happens when it's blowing really a gust and you can't get to where you want to go? What happens when it pours down? It's not forecast, but it pours down. Well, you don't have to worry. Why? Because you bought a tent. And what happens when that rain comes down and, and swells the river that you've got to cross and you can't cross it safely? Well, you're safe too. You bought a tent. Or what about if you get lost? You know, one of the things that can be quite reassuring if you get lost or you get injured and you're waiting for help or just mere fact that you're tired is that you've got a tent, you can rest and you can, and I think that a tent gives a lot of people um, a stress for your environment that takes away any anxiety and any fear because it's like a home away from home. And um, I know a lot of people really appreciate having a tent for the safety reasons. Another key reason, and for me this is number one, why I love to bring a tent, and that is freedom. If you're tramping along and you're walking along and you see something that, hey, you know what, I'd like to stay here the night. It may be a river, it could be a lake, it could be a phenomenal view, it could be a, a potential sunrise or a sunset, and I think, yeah man, I want to stay here the night. I can do that. Why? I bought a tent. Um, and the other thing too is that you can stop where you want to stop not where you have to stop if you haven't bought a tent you've got to stop where there are lodges where there are refuges where there are huts um, whether private or government funded type huts but what i love about a tent you've literally got your home away from home on the back of your back and you can put it down whenever you want to 
and it just gives you that sense of excitement, of joy, to be able to wake up in the morning and see a brilliant sunrise, or go to bed looking at a brilliant uh, sunset. So there's some there's key reasons why I love to tent. And so all the best, I look forward to catching up on the next session with you. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already, I really appreciate that because then you can keep in touch with um, other videos I've got coming out. And the next one, speaking of that, I'm going to look at the three most common wild camping tents. And I'm going to look at tunnel tents, I'm going to look at dome tents, I'm going to look at just uh, camping by driving type tents. You'll really enjoy it, so I look forward to seeing you soon. Alright, catch your team, bye.